Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do crochet. It's a very quick, easy, I mean it's super easy. Um, this is the uh, double moss stitch. Maybe many of you are familiar with the moss stitch. Well this is the uh, double version of it. Otherwise known as, the moss stitch is otherwise known as a linen stitch or the granite stitch. Um, <clears throat> but this is the... Uh, double moss stitch so it does look the same on both sides and it is just a one row repeat it makes makes a denser fabric than the regular moss stitch um, it works great for pretty much anything that you could ever want to make with it and I always recommend either the regular moss stitch or the double moss stitch for any like busy or variegated yarns it works well for that too so do you guys want to go ahead and get started all right show you how easy it is um for the, i'm using scrap yarn for the purpose of this tutorial it's a four weight yarn you use whatever yarn you want depending on whatever it is that you're making and i'm using an eye hook so the double moss stitch is done in any odd number of stitches so depending on what you're making whether it be a blanket or a scarf or a top or a paddle or whatever you chain um, and any odd number for however long you want your piece to be and then we're going to go ahead and start row one so row one we are going to do a single crochet in the second stitch from our hook so we do not count the one that's on our hook so this would be one and this would be two single crochet in that second stitch and then we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain so row one is one single in every stitch until we get to the end of the row just like that all right once you make it to the end of row one we'll go ahead and start row two we are going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch, and we're going to turn our work. We are going to put a double crochet into the very first stitch. And then we're going to put a double crochet into the next stitch. So that was two double crochets right there in a row. Now we're going to start the repeat of row two. We're going to chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. And that's the repeat for row two. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. And we're going to do this all the way across until we get to the last three stitches of our row. Chain one, skip one, and double. Chain one, skip one, and double. Chain one, skip one, double. Chain one, skip one, double. And I'll see you when we have three stitches left. Just keep repeating that. Chain one, skip one, double. Chain one, skip one, double. How about meet up with me when you have four stitches left? I'm sorry about that. So we have four stitches left. All right, four. I just double crocheted in the previous one and I chained one. I'm going to skip one of the first one of the four and I'm going to do a double crochet in the last three stitches. Make sure you chain one after this double, you skip one, and then we're going to put one double crochet into the last three. We're not going to chain in between them. Just one double into the last three. And that'll end row two. Just like that. Now row three is the repeat row. So it's just a one row repeat. And row three is the row that we're going to repeat the entire time. So we're going to chain one 
and we're going to turn our work. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work a half double crochet into the first two stitches. So we're going to yarn over and go into the first stitch and we're going to work a half double. And then we're going to go into the next stitch and work a half double. And then we're going to start the repeat of row three. We're going to chain one. We're going to skip this double crochet here and we're going to do a drop a double crochet all the way down into the single crochet down here or into the stitch down here. All right. In between this uh, chain space all the way down. So we're going to yarn over. We're skipping this double. We chained one, skip this double and come all the way down to this stitch, go into it, grab your yarn, pull it back and then double crochet like normal, just like that. And then that's what we're going to repeat. We're going to chain one. We will skip this double crochet here and we will do a drop double all the way down into this stitch below this chain space. So we're going to yarn over, go into that stitch, grab your yarn, pull it back through and double crochet. Just like that. Again, we're going to chain one, skip this double and in the stitch that's below this chain space we're going to do a drop double we're going to yarn over go into that stitch grab the yarn pull it back and double crochet and we're going to repeat this all the way across chain one it's okay if your doubles get kind of crumped up a little bit they tend to do that skip this double and we're going to double in the stitch that's below this chain space here. Just like that. Repeat. Chain one. Skip this double. And drop double into the stitch below this chain space here. chain one and repeat. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this pattern and I'll meet back up with you near the end of row three. All right, I'm coming near the end of row three. Chain one. You see I have one space left here. I'm going to do my double crochet, drop double down here. Like that. Just like that. Chain one. And then I'm going to put a half double crochet into the last two stitches. And that it will end row three. And that will end the repeat row. All right. So now we're just going to keep repeating row three. We're going to chain one for row four, which is going to be a repeat of row three. Turn our work and we're going to start off with a half double crochet into our first two stitches. Like that. And then we need to drop double crochet right down here and this stitch here. See that? Because we're at a chain one so we're going to yarn over and this is the drop double from the previous row. We're just going to go right into the top of it like that and double crochet chain one and repeat. So we skip this double here, come over here to the next and we have to drop double in the stitch that's below this chain space. So we yarn over, 
and here is go right into the top of it. Sometimes it's hard to see, but you just gotta kinda here it is. And double crochet. Chain one. Repeat. We skip this double and we need to drop double and the stitch down here below this chain space. Yarn over, go into the top of this stitch right here, and double crochet, repeat, chain one, skip the double, and drop double into this stitch right below the chain space. like this and we're going to repeat this pattern again until the end of the row. Remember we're just repeating row three. All right, I'm coming to the end of row four. Remember, it's just a repeat of row three. So here's my last chain space right here. I double crochet, chain one. I'm gonna skip this double. I'm going to do my drop double right here. Like that, chain one. And then I'm gonna put a half double crochet into the last two stitches. And that will end row four, which was just a repeat of row three. So that's what we're just going to keep repeating row three. Chain one, turn our work. Repeat row three again, half double crochet into the first two stitches. And then we have to drop double down here, <clears throat> excuse me, because here's a chain space into that double crochet down here. Chain one, skip this double and drop double. Here's the chain space into the stitch right below it. So again, I'm just repeating row three. I'm gonna keep repeating row three until I get to my desired size. Um, I'll, let me go ahead and finish out this row and then once you, I'll show you how to uh, make the top closed up whenever you finish getting the size that you want it to be. So remember you just keep repeating row three until you get to your desired size. All right, so once you get your piece to size that you want it to be, like that, I'll show you how to clean up the top edge. All right, so you got the size you want it to be, and it looks like this. So this is what we're gonna do to uh, get rid of these spaces here. We're gonna chain one, and we're gonna turn our work. Now remember, this is when you are finito, and you got it as big as you want it to be. We'll put a single crochet in the first two half double crochets here. Now, where we would normally drop double, we're gonna do a drop half double. So we're gonna yarn over and go into that stitch there, just like we would do a double, but we're just gonna do a half double this time and bring it up to about the same height as your single crochets, just like that. And then we're gonna single crochet into the next double and then we're gonna do a drop half double crochet again here. So we just yarn over, go into the same spot that you normally would, your drop double, but we're just going to do a half double and just bring it up in the same height.
height as the single crochets that you just did and half double like that and then we're going to put a single crochet into the next double and this is what we're going to repeat all the way across so instead of doing drop doubles we're doing drop half doubles which makes them shorter and closes up that gap and we're single crocheting in each of the drop half doubles from the previous row and or um the drop doubles from the previous row i'm sorry so drop half double right there and then single into the next drop double drop half double right here and single into the next drop into the top of the next drop double now we're going to go ahead and repeat this see how that cleans up that top edge makes it more even so we're going to go ahead and repeat this all the way across and then when you get to your last stitches here you just single crochet <coughs> single crochet in your last two half doubles and and that's it that's how it's done it's pretty easy it makes pretty pretty fabric for pretty much any yarn that you have a nice well it gives it a nice woven look i think looking the same on both sides easy one row repeat what more could you ask for nothing nothing so once you get that finished it will look like this so i hope you enjoy my tutorial don't forget to hit that like button if you did and so, so, please consider subscribing i have uh, oh so many tutorials <laughs> so many so many so many all free for you for you to enjoy and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you on the next one bye guys